In 1997, a small company named Running With Scissors decided to turn the adage going postal into a video game. Violence is definitely in order when the inspiration is a quote about uncontrollable mayhem, but is this game actually good or is controversy the only thing it gets right? In Postal, you play as an unnamed individual whose goal is to simply kill everyone. It doesn't sound like much and, well, it isn't much. This is an isometric shooter, but unlike other games of this type, there is no fixed crosshair here. Instead, a crosshair appears whenever your weapons have someone in range. The issue is that these folks just can't stand still, and as such, any semblance of precision is wishful thinking. But that's not all. With the exception of the rocket launcher or explosives, it takes half a dozen hits to take anyone out, including civilians. But since explosives require pinpoint precision, they're borderline useless. Even the regular shotgun has been rendered obsolete since other than civilians, it can take five hits from the damn thing to take a hostile down on the easy difficulty no less. You do get an automatic shotgun and a flamethrower later on, but they burn through ammo too quickly for you to be able to really take advantage of them. You'll end up trying to make the AI opponents kill themselves or, at best, hit and run. But when you need to use exploits just to complete a damn game without smashing your keyboard to bits, it's clear that something went horribly wrong. On the other hand, your enemies have no problems targeting and hitting you. If the game had lock-on or at least a proper permanent crosshair, fighting back wouldn't have been an issue. On the bright side, your machine gun, however weak, does have unlimited ammo, and you only need to kill around 80% of the hostiles in a level to complete it, but that's little consolation. Oh, and the game doesn't even have the courtesy to tell you that you have to press F1 to advance to the next level. There's also always something in your way, and the only person to whom transparency is applied is you. Heck, some bits of scenery don't even have that much applied to them. Anyone hidden behind or in scenery basically gets a free hit, and since the protagonist can't take much punishment, the result is keyboard snapping frustration. Even worse, some enemies can fire in bursts, killing you within nanoseconds. And since you need to complete a mission to save your progress, the experience becomes downright aggravating as a result. Graphically, environments are static, the art is nothing special, and while character models are 3D, it's clear they only have a handful of polygons. These limitations would have been understandable if the game had fancy effects or was done to fit consoles as well, but this is a PC exclusive. To its credit, the amount of enemies it can handle is respectable, and the frame rate mostly stays solid, so it's not all bad. The credits also mention the digital versions as the 2013 edition, but other than cloud saves, the experience is literally the same as it was in 1997. Also of note is the story, or rather the almost complete absence of any. Everyone is voice acted and has quite a few things to say, but there is no coherent narrative to tie up all the events taking place. You get some text in the loading screens, and an incomprehensible end cutscene, but that's it. The relative lack of context just makes the experience feel pointless. It has nothing interesting to say and the gameplay is either cheap or straight up broken. The disclaimer you get when starting the game is right on the money about senseless violence. Postal is mechanically sloppy, artistically hollow, and technically underwhelming. Even if you're a teenager in their fuck everyone phase, the experience is too frustrating to provide catharsis, and in the end, Postal just isn't worth the effort.